I'm your review guy and today I'm going to do a comparison between the TCL 4 series, 5 series, and 6 series. If you do want to check out these sizes and prices for any of these TVs, I put Amazon links down below for your convenience. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into this video. So the first thing that I want to compare these TVs with is brightness. So as you would expect, the TV that comes on top out of all of these three is the TCL 6 series by a landslide. It can reach over a thousand nits of brightness in certain settings which is a big plus for HDR content. Now the 5 series peaks out at about 500 nits, which is common for the price point. And then the 4 series peaks out at like 350. So the obvious winner is the TCL 6 series in this category. And basically what this means is that for HDR content and Dolby Vision, the picture on the TCL 6 series is going to look the best because true HDR, you're gonna need close to a thousand nits and the TCL 6 series goes above that. But now I want want to talk about colors so the 5 series actually beats out the more expensive 6 series by a grain of standard in terms of the wide color gamut. So these two TVs are very very close in this category and even though the 5 series is $300 cheaper than the 6 series it does have a wider color gamut. But however in my opinion because the 6 series is so much brighter than the 5 series the image still does look more attractive on the 6 series and the 5 series, but with a $300 price gap difference between the 5 series and the 6 series, the 5 series actually gives you more value for less of the dollar amount than the 6 series. And the 4 series is $450 cheaper than the 6 series, so it's going to be at the budget TV standards, but the biggest upgrade in colors is from the 4 series and the 5 series, and the 6 series actually steps it down a little bit. So the best value for colors is the 5 series. Now I want to talk about contrast ratios and black levels. Now for all three of these TVs, the 4 series, 5 series, and 6 series, they all have really outstanding black levels. I don't find any backlight bleed in any of these three models even on the 4 series. So TCL has some pretty good quality control because the 4 series that I purchased, the 5 series, and the 6 series that I already owned did not have issues with the backlight bleed. So all of these TVs have really crisp and dark blacks. And again, the biggest upgrade is between the 4 series and the 5 series. You'll definitely see the increase in quality, but the 5 series and the 6 series both have full array local dimming. So in terms of dark content, it's pretty hard to tell the difference between the two TVs. Now with contrast ratio, deepest blacks, brightest whites, when you are watching light setting content, the 6 series looks outstanding and way better than the 5 series, but when you're watching dark content, it is really hard to tell the difference between the 5 series and the 6 series. So the 5 series, again, gives you a great value if you don't want to spend that extra $300 to upgrade for this 6 series. But now I want to talk about response time. So response time is the time it takes from one pixel to change from one color to the next color. And when we're talking about response time, we're talking about the image artifacts and fast paced content like motion blur, ghosting, pixel overshooting, things like that. So the fastest response time of these three TVs has to go to the 6 series. Now, unlike the other categories that I've mentioned before, this is a noticeable difference. The 6 series is noticeably better than the 5 series, and the 5 series is noticeably better than the 4 series. So the content that this is going to affect mostly is gaming and sports. So sports and gaming is going to look the smoothest on the 6 series, and you're not going to get those motion artifacts like a motion blur with fast paced content on the 6 series. That being said, the 5 series still has a really good response time and you're not going to see a lot of the motion blur and a quick fix to the motion blur on the 5 series is turning on black frame insertion and that will cut down on pretty much everything. So in terms of motion blur for these three TVs, the 4 series is great for the price, but it is $450 less than the 6 series, so it's going to be noticeably worse, but great for the price point. The 5 series is going to be a huge step up from the 4 series, and then the 6 series is going to be a couple steps above the 5 series. But there definitely is a noticeable difference between these three TVs as you move up the lineup. But now I want to talk about viewing angles. So because all all three of these TVs are VA panels or variations of VA panels, all the viewing angles are going to be mediocre. So when I say viewing angles, I mean when you look at these TVs from an angle and not straight on, the image is going to wash 
out a little bit. Now, that being said, as you move up each tier in TCL's lineup from the 4 series, 5 series, and 6 series, the viewing angle is going to get better. Now, a reoccurring trend, the most improved is from the 4 series to the 5 series. And due to the TCL 6 series brightness, it doesn't look like it has much washing out at all because the brightness kind of overpowers the washing out effect in my opinion. The winner is definitely the 6 series. If you're going to need this for a wide room, definitely spend the extra money and, and go for the 6 series. But if you're gonna have a medium to small room, 5 series is the way to go. But now I wanna talk about gaming features. So the main difference between the 5 series and the 6 series besides brightness is that the 6 series was made for gaming. In mind. Now, all of these TVs have extremely low input lag. You're never gonna have problem with input lag between the 4 series, 5 series, and 6 series. TCL just does a very good job with that across all the tiers of their TV platform. But the 6 series has those extra features that you're definitely going to pay for. It does have a variable refresh rate and it does have a THX certified game mode. What this THX certified game mode also does for the 6 series is make in-game colors match what the game developers wanted them to look like. The scene changes from dark to light are going to look more smooth in terms of image artifacts. Fast paced game is going to look smoother and it does have a variable refresh rate so screen tearing also isn't going to be an issue on the 6 series. So the main price difference in my opinion besides brightness between the 5 series and the 6 series is the extra gaming features that you would be paying for. But now I want to go into operating system and remote. So all these TVs are TCL and TCL is partnered with Roku so they all are Roku TVs. So all of the operating systems are going to be the same. It runs completely smooth. Roku is one of my favorite operating systems on any TV platform. But now let's talk about the remote. So the remote quality obviously goes up in volume as you go from the 4 series, the 5 series, and the 6 series. Now the noticeable difference is that the 6 series does have the voice control option built into the remote. Now you can use voice control using the Roku app on your phone, but the actual built-in button is only found on the remote of the 6 series. But that is really all I have to mention about operating system and the remote. Now the last thing that I want to talk about before I talk about a complete overview and summary about all three of these TVs compared is the inputs. And surprisingly, all of these TVs have the exact same inputs. They have Ethernet for HDMI 2.0s, HDMI 4 is ER, place to attach a cable box or antenna, one USB, one AVN, one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and an optical audio out. So whether you get a 4 series, 5 series, or 6 series, you're going to have the same amount of ports. But this is what I personally think after living with all three of these TVs. If you're not a huge gamer and you don't really care about a super bright TV, go with the 5 series. It's going to save you an extra few hundred dollars and is still an incredible TV with incredible build quality. Obviously, if you want a budget option, I still 100% recommend the TCL 4 series, but again, you do get what you pay for. Now, the 6 series, if you really want a game and you want that gaming experience to be super smooth, spend the extra few hundred dollars and go with the 6 series. It has gaming features that the other two don't, and it has killer brightness. So if you want to experience HDR content to its full potential and you really want those movies and TV shows to look amazing, spend the extra few hundred dollars and go with the 6 series. But again, if you don't care about the gaming features, or the crazy brightness, the 5 series would be the best value for you. But I really hope this video helped you guys out. If you do want to check out the sizes and prices for any of these TVs, the 4 series, 5 series, or 6 series, I put Amazon links down below for your convenience. I really love TCL's TVs and they have a great value for what you pay for. So no matter what you choose to go with, the 4 series, 5 series, or 6 series. I truly believe that you guys are going to love it. But again, I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button or that subscribe button. But I was your review guide and I'll see you in the next video.